Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today, I want to show you a product that I came across on eBay, which I think is really interesting. So, I wanted to point this out to you. This is a LED video light, the modern way of lighting your videos, <laughs> and the most energy saving way as well. Now, this is coming from China, it came straight out of Hong Kong, but it seems like this actually is a brand name product made by a Chinese brand. It was made by the Nanguang Photographic Equipment Company Limited, and this is their 160 LED light. And yes, I did count the LEDs, and yes, there are 160 LEDs in there. So they are not lying. Now, I paid about 52 euro for this light, and uh, there are different versions of this light. There is a smaller version, which only has 126 LEDs, but since that is only 15 euro less, I don't really think it's worth getting that, because, I mean, you pay only 15 euro more and you get a lot more light, obviously. There is also a more expensive model, which has those metal shutters on the side that open and close. I don't really need those things, so, well, I got this, this version. And uh, it also came with a bunch of accessories, which is really nice. This is, of course, the box. This is the light itself. And uh, it also came with this stand, which, uh, of course, is detachable. And uh, if you detach the stand, you have your standard accessory shoe on the bottom. Now, it also came with, uh, which I think is a must-have, with a piece of plastic. It's white plexiglass, as you can see. And you put that in front of the LEDs into there. And this is a diffuser, so uh, that you get a bit of a softer light. I mean, they are saying if you use it this way, it's a spotlight. And if you put this in front, it's a proper video light. Now, I don't really think, um, I would not really recommend to use it without the diffuser, because it does look slightly weird. If you are shooting something... Uh, in a distance, you can actually see the single LEDs on there, so you do need the diffuser. Now, it also came with, uh, which are in this uh, silver case, and I want to zoom in on this, because they have actually um, molded their company logo into there, which I think is kind of nice. I mean, look at that. <laughs> now, this uh, sleeve, by the way, uh, just by the way it smells, um, well, I would not recommend eating this. It might cause cancer or something like that. It really smells weird. But this little case contains some more diffusers in different colors. Now we have this one, which is um, kind of purple. And uh, what this does is it lowers the color temperature if you want to have a very cold light. Um, and this one, which I think is really important for an LED video light, this is a yellow diffuser, and this rises the color temperature. So if you put this in front, you actually get the same light you would get out of a regular um, old-style video light with an incandescent light bulb in there, or halogen light bulb in there. So uh, that's kind of nice to have, these different diffusers. Um, and uh, now here comes the biggest advantage of this particular video light, and this is actually the reason why I got it. This can use, well, the producer says it can use five kinds of batteries. Now, I found out it can actually use seven types of batteries, 
which is really nice. Now, as we turn this around, you can see we have, uh, well, hopefully we can see, um, we have the battery compartment on the back. I just want to open this up for you. There you have it. And of course, the battery compartment will take your standard AA batteries. I think, uh, yes, six AA batteries are going into there. But, as you can see, there is also this um, slot in here. Or actually, there are two slots. And that is because this video light can also take um, regular battery packs, rechargeable battery packs from camcorders. This can take the good old Sony Infolithium batteries, the NPF something batteries. Those are going into the big slot on the back, obviously, into there. They can use the more modern small type Infolithium batteries by Sony. And from those it can use, of course, the H series, the P series and the V series. So three kinds of different batteries plus the big ones makes four different kinds of batteries. And uh, of course for the smaller ones you have the smaller slot. Now that's not all. Here comes the next uh, way. This is a Panasonic uh, lithium type battery. These are the older style uh, batteries from the early 2000s. For those they are giving you this adapter and uh, you just slide the battery into the adapter and then you slide the adapter into the slot for the uh, big Infolithium F batteries uh, battery slot. And uh, well plus your regular AA battery makes seven ways of uh, getting this thing to light up. Now, um, that's really great because uh, the H-type Infolithium batteries are the batteries my camcorder, my high-definition camcorder that I'm using to record this, is using. So, um, it's really handy. And, uh, of course, since it can also use the giant, big Infolithium F batteries, um, well, you really don't have any worries um, with your power because, uh, well, these uh, really do hold a charge. So um, I would actually recommend, um, even if you don't have a Sony camcorder, you can still get this thing and uh, get yourself just the cheap replacement batteries for the Sony Infolithium F batteries. I think you can get those for, well, f around 20 euro. And then you can get yourself one of those cheap aftermarket external battery chargers for the for those batteries. Those are around five euro, and uh, well, no more worries with um, with batteries because uh, I really I really prefer having one or two or three of these big battery packs uh, to carry around rather than having a billion of these small little double A batteries. So. That's why I like this light so much. Now, uh, I have my camcorder set to manual exposure, so I think I can actually demonstrate the brightness of this light. So I want to take my huge infolithium... No, actually, I want to take the small ones. Okay. My small... This is the battery that actually came with this camcorder. So it's all real easy. Well, first we want to close off the battery compartment again and uh, of course the bigger the batteries are the more they are going to stick out through that um, window in the back and uh, just uh, put this into there there it goes and uh, it's actually kind of complicated to get those batteries out um, <laughs> yeah you can see it does require some force but uh, well, I prefer that over having the battery fa batteries falling out all the time. Anyway, enough of uh, talking. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on. Okay, 
Now this already looks pretty bright on camera, but uh, this light features a dimmer. And this is the darkest position. So now let's make this thing brighter. Okay, that's a bit brighter. That's more bright and more and more and that's maximum. And as you can see that my camera is going absolutely crazy. But uh, yeah, this is bright. You cannot look into this. This is blindingly bright. So if you're shooting at night, this really does help you. Now we want to try the diffuser. I don't expect this is going to make too much of a big difference on camera, but uh, just to demonstrate how that looks. Turn this on. Now those diffusers are not taking up too much light. So if you're using them, you're not losing um, too much brightness. Well, once again, that's maximum. Turn it off. Now, since I have this camera in manual white balance, we can also try using one of those um, filters for different color temperatures. So here we go. This is the one that rises the color temperature and this is the one I'm going to use. So let's see how close we can get to a regular uh, incandescent light. Turn it on. Now, it seems to look kind of green on camera. But uh, this actually is a nice and warm light. So this is the filter to use whenever you're shooting inside. Now we can also take a look at the thing with the purple filter on there. Once again, real quick. Yeah, this kind of light looks really, really weird. But uh, I guess uh, this could actually be the right kind of light when you're shooting outdoors. Uh, you really have to experiment with those um, filters, of course, to find out which one is the best for um, the certain situation you want to uh, shoot in. Now, last but not least, that's the last feature this light has. and. Uh, this also is kind of unique. This does tell you how much battery life you've left. And I have to admit, so far I have not found out how it exactly shows you the remaining battery capacity. You get a test button on the back and uh, there you can see we have uh, four LEDs on the back and uh, maybe able to zoom in on that a little bit. We have um, four LEDs in the back. You press the button and you get an indication of your remaining battery life. Although I have to say it always seems to uh, just give you this one LED. I put in batteries that were almost empty as well as batteries that were fully charged and uh, I could only get that one single LED to light up so uh, that might be the only downside of the whole thing, that the uh, remaining battery life indicator is not very accurate at all. But uh, aside from that, this really is a great product and uh, so, uh, well, I like it. And uh, so I really wanted to point this out to you because uh, this might be something you want to get too. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and See you again soon.